Hello everyone, welcome to the Forms Flow tutorial. Today, we'll explore the powerful capabilities of Forms Flow and learn how to create a form and populate it with data from an external API endpoint. In this tutorial, we'll use the JSON Placeholder API, a trusted source for generating sample data. Our goal is to retrieve user data and automatically fill in the name, username, and email fields in our form. Let's get started. Step 1. Creating the form. First, we'll create a new form and name it User Data Form. We'll add the necessary components, name, username, and email. Great! We have set the basic form components. Now, let's move on to step two. Step two, fetching data from the API endpoint. To retrieve data from the API endpoint, we'll create a hidden component and configure its data properties. We prepared a code snippet that uses JavaScript's fetch function to asynchronously retrieve data from the JSON placeholder API. The fetch data is then compiled into a JSON object. By setting the retrieved data as the value of our hidden component, we can access it later. We'll label this component as API data. Now we can move on to step three. Step three, distributing data to form fields. To distribute the collected data, we'll configure the calculated value of each form field. For the name field, we'll use data.api data of index zero name. Similarly, for the username and email fields, we'll use data.api data of index zero username and data.api data of index zero email, respectively. Excellent. We've completed all the necessary steps. Step four, testing the form. Now it's time to test our form. As a designer, I have the permission to submit, view, and edit the form. Let's take a look. Voila, the form is visible and we can see that the data has been successfully populated from the external API endpoint. That concludes our tutorial. You've learned how to create dynamic forms and automate data population using Forms Flow. Start streamlining your processes today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.